Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This is the first video in the tutorial series for the Pocket Radio. This little one. So the first video I'm going to put out is to help you set it up to use your Pocket as a controller for a flight simulator, which is what most beginners would do if they're buying this radio to learn to fly drones. That's very simple, which all we have to do actually is uh, start a new model and that's it, it will be set up. We then have to plug the USB-C cable into the top of the radio, that's here. And then, not, not the bottom one, but the top one, plug it into our computer and we should be good to go. Sometimes there can be a driver problem. If you get that problem, just uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below and I will assist you in a, and send you to a video that will help you sort that out. But most times you'll just plug it in and you'll be ready to go. I'm going to use Curry Kitten's uh, flight simulator for this, but obviously it will work on others. I'm not going to go into the, to the changing the settings within the um, flight simulators because there are a few of them. Okay, let's switch over to the radio. So now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. You can see I've already set up a sim, but I'm going to show you how to do this and how quick it is. We're going to hit our model button. And we're going to go down to a blank slot there. So that's number 13. Long press the um, enter button. And now you can see we can create. We create, and that is literally all we need to do. If I push across, you can see if we go to our inputs, all we need is aileron, elevator, throttle and rudder. Now that would obviously be roll, pitch, throttle and yaw in a, a drone. But this is a throwback to model aeroplanes and in HTX it's and the same it did with OpenTX. It says that it has those narratives rather than the ones that we use for drones. So don't worry about that if you're a beginner. Then if we go over, you'll see, oh, beg your pardon, went too far. We've got our mixes. So that's all we need. So we can come out of here and now we're ready to plug our radio straight into the computer and uh, with the USB-C cable and then we should be good to go. Right, now we're ready to go. I'm going to use Curry Kitten's flight simulator for this. Um, so the setup will be slightly different in depending on which one you're using. But yeah, let me show you on this. So I've plugged the USB-C cable into the top of the radio of the pocket radio into the USB-C port. I'm going to plug it into the computer. Then on the front of the screen, you'll see a choice. Just select USB joystick. It's quite clearly on the front of the screen. And then you should hear your computer beep. Well, there we go. There's the tone to say that it's connected. So if we click on the radio, there we go. It's Detective Radio Master Pocket. And we can just check, there we go, there's my throttle. I fly mode one, and then roll is working, and pitch, and yaw. Okay, so we should be, we can cal calibrate the sticks if they don't look right, but they do look fine. Let me go back. So let's have a look. Let's see if it's working, okay. Yep, it's working fine. As I say, it will be different depending on the flight simulator you're using. So you may have to reverse the channels. Now to do that, you go into the mixes and change the weight from a plus to a minus. But generally speaking, you'll just plug in and you should be good to go. And there we go. That wasn't difficult at all, was it? So I will be putting out videos for the Pocket Radio, uh, tutorial videos. Now, if there's something you specifically want to know about the uh, Pocket Radio and the Edge TX within it, then please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will always try to assist you if I can. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.